All right, folks, I got a 100 uh, pound capacity welding cart. Uh, let's unbox this thing and put it together. Alrighty, cut this open and see what comes out. Let's see what we got here. This open. We got a tray. And we got some casters which are not ball bearing casters, but pretty nice like hard rubbery feeling. Uh, not too bad. I mean, yeah, there's ball bearings in the swivel part, and they seem to be pretty well greased. This is it's a pretty decent feeling caster, actually. Not too bad. So we got two of these. And we got our chains for holding the bottles. And we got another tray. And we got more packaging. Okay, the six inch wheels feel pretty nice. This is like a hard rubber. I expected this to be like a chintzy plastic tire, but this is like a, like a really hard rubber. And I can't really tell how it's fixed to this plastic inside part, but pretty pretty decent wheel actually. Not not too bad at all. So we got two of those. And we get some side supports. Okay, it says on there what what it is. And that's the right, that's the left. We got our brackets here for hanging the hoses and wires on, a bunch of screws, some books, file them, more packaging, uh, axle, and we got uh, another, I think this is the, the back support, more of this, and the bottom tray. Okay, not too shabby. I guess, uh, I guess we'll start putting this thing together. And oh yeah, before we get too much farther, I just forgot to tell you what I paid for this thing. Uh, it was normally $44.99, 45 bucks. I used 25% off coupon, which brought it down to $33.74. So, 34 bucks. And my free item I got was more of these crappy batteries. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, bag of hardware was pretty simple. We got 34 of these screws. They all got a Phillips head on it. Also, they're all the same. And we got 34 nuts, all the same. We got five of these washers and three cotter pins. So I'm assuming we get an extra cotter pin and probably an extra washer. But uh, pretty simple. We'll get started. All right, first thing we'll do is put the axle and the back wheels on. Start by putting one of these in here. A little bend over. Like so. And put a washer on here. Put a wheel on here. Put another washer on there. And run her through. And washer, wheel, washer, 
and the other cotter pin on this side. the other casters on this side next. All right, we'll run the bolts up from the bottom like so. Throw a nut on there. This takes a 10 millimeter and just do that four times on each one. And the same for the other side. Okay, next we'll put on the side supports, which again take the same nuts and bolts. I'm going to do the same on the other side, and I'll probably wait before I tighten these to get everything together, make sure everything lines up good. Alright, I'm going to put this back support in, and then we'll do the same thing, not tightening it for now. Take this middle tray, two holes go to the front, stick that in there, pull this to line up with that, get one on the other side too. Same thing with the top. Stick this in there. All right, and then before we tighten it, we'll probably just get this lined up to where these are pretty well straight. There. And we'll just go around and tighten up all the screws now. And the last thing to do is to put these little hangers on the side. You could either put them there or there, wherever you want. I think I'm going to go for the higher spot. I don't know. I can always change it in the future if I decide. Okay, and they give us two chains, which we just simply put in these holes, like so. Okay, we got her together. Uh, I have a couple of thoughts on this setup. <clears throat> uh, overall, it's pretty stout. It seems like it'll work. Seems like it'll work just fine. Uh, one thing I did have to do is put this on the lower and this door. Uh, needs to open occasionally and I have to like tip it tip it sideways a little bit so I can get that door to open that's a little inconvenient I might take a piece of plywood or something and put it in here just to raise this up a little higher uh, so I can get this door to open easily um, another thing is this bottle situation is not ideal with the top shelf being on an angle uh, where this 
connection comes out the back it all kind of rams together here and it's not great you know what I'm saying so it's okay and it'll work plenty good and it's not bad you know I don't think I could have made one for 34 or 5 bucks or whatever this was uh, it's not bad though rolls pretty good it's more portable than it was I didn't have a cart at all before so this is a step up from having nothing and I don't know it's it's construction is good but the layout isn't ideal so you know there's that to consider but uh, you know maybe for a smaller unit maybe a, a TIG unit or something it might might work a little better or you know I could suppose move this farther to the front but then it'd be hanging off and I don't know if I was gonna make one myself it would probably be a little better than that but whatever is what it is it was 34 bucks or 35 bucks after the sale so it works good enough alright folks I gotta go adios